Now at six, chemical fumes spread through a South Jersey business. Dozens of employees are sickened. Some even had to be rushed to the hospital. And tonight, investigators are trying to pinpoint what went wrong. Right now, they're focused on the HVAC system. Good evening, I'm Jessica Dean. And I'm Chris May. This chaotic scene did unfold this afternoon at Home Solutions Infusion Therapy. That's on Grand Street South in Hamilton, Atlantic County. Eyewitness News New Jersey reporter Cleve Bryan is there tonight live with an update on the investigation. Cleve? Chris, all the crews cleared out this afternoon, but early on, this was a very busy staging area for all the ambulances and the paramedics. They had dozens of people on this lawn and some of the surrounding parking lots being evaluated for breathing problems. We couldn't tell what it was. We thought maybe we smelled a slight chemical smell, so we got everyone out of the building. Managers evacuated about 90 employees from Home Solutions corporate headquarters after several people complained of headaches and nausea. Paramedics checked out more than 40 people for inhalation issues, sending six to the hospital by ambulance and two on helicopters. They were complaining of a burning sensation in the respiratory system. Uh, I don't know whether those two individuals were closest to uh, the area affected, uh, but because of the seriousness of that nature, any respiratory serious respiratory injuries uh, are taken to a trauma center. Atlanta County hazmat experts found a caustic chemical in the air and discovered evidence of a refrigerant leak in the ductwork of the air conditioning system. Either an R22 or some other uh, fluoromethane uh, refrigerant that's used, possibly from the HVAC system. By early afternoon, Home Solutions sent all of their employees home for the rest of the day as HVAC technicians worked on locating the source of the possible leak and then fixing it. Compliance officer Melanie Sponholz didn't feel sick, but saw lots of people who did. How's everybody doing? We're, you know, we're concerned about, you know, our fellow employees and, you know, we're waiting to hear they're testing the HVAC systems now that everyone is out of the building. So we're waiting to hear if they can determine what the problem was. Atlanta Care tells me that they cannot give us any updates on any specific uh, patients that were out here today. We did see people up on the roof uh, checking out the HVAC system. Health Solutions says that they're not sure when they'll be able to bring everyone back to work. Reporting live in Hamilton, I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Cleve, thank you very much.